We've never seen anything like this before, and it's only the beginning. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 14th, 2021. So let's get into it here with our angelic message. Yes, this is for everybody. We do general readings once a week, and we start out with a general energy message, and then we get into some cards. I also do daily readings as well. We have some new subscribers here who aren't sure if this is for each sign or what have you. It's for everybody. So this week's energy and going forward, here's what's coming up. <laughs> these are these deeper realizations uh, happening for us on an individual level and worldwide. We should be prepared here, I'm hearing, for a lot of change. Ultimately, this will be very positive change. This, I'm hearing crackdown, but it's not, it's not coming from what we currently perceive as powers that be that are cracking down. It would be the people cracking down on systems that have, you know, taken our rights away or systems that have used us or, um, we're going to see what this looks like, but there's going to be a lot of crumbling of things that once worked. Why is that happening? We're waking up. So it has this feeling of something. I feel like there's going to be like a lot of positivity going on here. So for a lot of you watching this, the energy is good. It's a return of empowerment and it's a realization of cooperation. Now, I cannot stress this enough. If you just energetically want to make amends with someone and you feel like it's safe to do so, right? Not saying you're trying to drag in an abusive partnership again. No, don't do that, obviously. But um, this would be the time to, I'm hearing like tie up loose ends, make peace. Now, I make it sound like it's like the end of the world. It's not, it's just, we're gonna need all of our strength and our vibration to be high to stay in that awake state. So there is an awareness about, it doesn't even feel like this is stuff that's been going on behind the scenes. This is stuff that we have just accepted. And there is no blaming anybody, right? Because we allowed it. We participated. And we're saying no more. Now, not everything comes to a resolution in this week. <laughs> Maybe we'll try next week, I don't know. But it's not gonna happen all at once. This is more this feeling of it just kind of breaking open. Uh, so this could be something major being revealed. I maybe could be, I don't know. The energy around that's a little shaky. This is more about you taking your experiences in any area of your life and learning the deeper lesson. And from that, it feels like we're kind of tying up loose ends about our own personal experiences. We're learning from it. We're coming through, as we always say lifting the frequency and there might be a little bit of a fight that comes out of some people because they are choosing not to process the things that they've been through okay so that could be an energy i think we need to be vigilant and, and careful okay um and yet in other ways there are people standing up and speaking out and saying no more this is how many ways society is very very sick this is the way society and we as humans are controlled. So will this be an okay week? It's always going to be okay. I mean, there's going to be stuff happening all the time in the world, <laughs> right? But this is more uh, about not running away from what is trying to come through for you. For example, it could be that sort of thing where you're having a moment where you're just having some coffee, let's say, and then something pops up and you suddenly get abundant clarity around it. Maybe it is, I need to take some accountability in this situation, or you know what? I have control over how I did X, Y, and Z. Why didn't I choose to do that, <laughs> right? I mean, it's this sort of thing. So just be ready for something to crack open. I don't know that something's gonna crack open in the outside world here until maybe next couple of weeks, but yeah, June 21st is 
standing out. We'll see. We'll just feel it out and see what happens. But uh, definitely it's a time of change. It's a time of shifting. And if you're not in this, uh, if you're not a good space, if you're being moody, for example, right? or you're not taking care of yourself, you're getting run down. This will be that kind of thing where you have an explosive reaction that might make it so somebody doesn't want to talk to you again. Or it might make it, some of you, you could lose it on the job and say, you know what, I'm fed up with not being paid what I deserve. And you blow up and they're like, fine, get out of here, okay? Be careful with your temper. Be careful with your, with your temper. Make sure you're not overwhelming. And there's also a message coming through here to not jump to conclusions. Ooh, this is a big one. They're coming in with a lot of force around this. Not force, it's, it's a human way of putting it. But they're coming in with a lot of energy around this to not jump to conclusions about what you're seeing. See, we keep doing that as humans and we keep putting things out into the thought grid and then we are taking the wrong approach to things. Yes, where if someone's a victim, they get extra victimized. If someone's uh, you know, made a mistake, they get extra villainized, right? So eh, we gotta balance this out. We need to look at the truth of what's really going on instead of just hearing a few tidbits and going, I got the whole story. I've got the whole picture. I know how to do this. I know, you know, whatever. So vigilant, steady, stick to the facts, pay attention to your intuition. People might, as a, this is going to be a constant, people might be acting out. But there's a sharp turn on something. There is a sharp turn facilitated by the people. You know what this feels like? It feels like some method in place. This could be around finances. This could be around I don't know, government agencies or whatever. I don't know what it might be exactly, but there's this feeling like some system in place, we find out um, that things have been done, not necessarily illegally, but shady. Okay. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little shady. And some people might start saying, especially if you live in the United States, that violates my rights, you know, that violates, you know, this, this set of instructions that we were supposed to go by, you didn't do that. You know, it's this kind of thing. So take that message, because again, I'm saying it like in the outward world, but it could be for you personally as well. Let me feel. And children are coming up. Chil children being released. Any clarification, please? I'm seeing children pouring out of a building. I don't know what that is. Um, it doesn't have a feeling of like something awful, but uh, the children are being released. Sometimes they don't make sense. <laughs> so we'll just see what happens and what unfolds around the world. It does feel like it's a turnabout where it's like children are released from, it's not like, well, I don't know what this would be. They're being released from some domination. Human rights violations, this sort of thing. Gotta be careful what I say here on YouTube. The children are going to be released. There's a lot coming up. There's a lot coming up around more around human rights. So this could be some something gets unveiled. Again, it may not be quite this week, but something's coming. Something's coming where we can't help but face ourselves. And there are going to be the people who are trying to say, oh, you're all just being so sensitive. Oh, you shouldn't be. Listen, I'm not encouraging anybody to be polarized in any way. You know, people are out there trying to go super this way or super. No, stop right here. <laughs> Let's be here with one another. Okay. That's what this is about. So taking a balanced approach, not over victimizing, not over villainizing. And the children get released. The children get released. That might be more metaphorical and it, I mean, it could be literal, but, um, because I felt this, this like heightened energy around it. So that's usually an indication that this is spiritually and I'm talking kids, like young kids, okay? So not necessarily just the indigo generation, which are now adults right behind my age, right? <laughs> so, you know, it's not that. Um, but the kids get released from a burden 
and it's a spiritual burden. Okay, so there's less for them to correct. There's less for them to take on because we finally woke up and we see it and now we're figuring out what the next best action is. Now I will say that this is um, very much done in the spirit of cooperation, very much done in the spirit of love. As I've always said, if you are somebody who is manipulative, if you are very Machiavellian, uh, your day is done. Done. Yeah, it's going to make you uncomfortable. Sure it is. Thumbs down this video. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> Nothing because I don't care. But, <laughs> but you know, that it's more of us kind of not being so distracted by the people who said, no, this is how to be. No, materialism is where it's at. I mean, it's fine. I like nice things too. I like stability, hey. But <laughs> we're finding that people are not listening to that and taking it as seriously as they always have and sort of course correcting. And as people start to come here in the middle and we start finding one another again, I mean connecting in a beautiful way, we start to not take them so seriously. We start to have clearer vision and that vision is being able to see right through any manipulation, not with judgment, but you just see it, you notice it, and you back away. And you say, no, I'm not partaking in that. I'm not gonna participate in that. No, thank you. And then it starts to lose power. That's why I've been talking about this for pretty much the eight years I've been doing this, that we don't feed those people. and. I often talk about that because I don't want anybody else to have to go through the hard lessons I went through with certain personality types in order to learn that lesson. The awareness is enough. The awareness and you knowing to trust your intuition about things can steer you in the right direction. Listening to that intuition and saying, no, I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be balanced. No, I'm not going to get pulled this way into someone's anger. No, I'm not going to get pulled this way into someone's self-righteousness when, yeah, on the, on the surface, this seems like a just cause. And yes, we should get out there and be working on this. But the way you're approaching it is not correct. It's not fair. It's not accurate. Okay? It's filled with judgment. And that messes everything up. It messes up the path, right? And so this is a week where we're getting some clarity around it. So it is this sort of like, it's a realization, a revelation. It might be a little irritating or you might want to not look at it or there could be something happening out there. There could be something happening out in the world, but then ultimately it gets us very focused and the sense of community, it's lovely. It's really lovely. And people start rediscovering each other. Let's not be so literal about this and say, oh, well, we all get to have freedom back now. So that's how, no, it's not just that. It's very, very, very deep. I'm talking about coming together to reform, to, to tune out the tox, toxic energy or toxicity so that we can move into a better future. Um, I know that's, <laughs> that sounds all like kind of very spiritual poster kind of thing, but, like, but what I'm getting at here is that it's a deeper understanding. It's not surface level, very, very deep and right here, right at the heart center. And it's almost as if we don't need to talk about it, we get it. All right, so let's get onto the cards. So for this week, I want to use the Archangel Michael deck for clarity and protection. And I think we are gonna need a little bit of courage. Strength. Yeah, this is definitely not a time to get mad and then try to get even. It's not that. It is not that. Again, there's this message here of make amends, make peace. Unless you think it's going to be explosive, I mean, if you don't think the other person's gonna be there with you, then, you know, you use your discernment. And <laughs> this says sense of humor. It says, thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So yes, you might be taking, you know, humor and using that as a tool. But what this feels like is 
when we figure out whatever it is that's a, that we're about to wake up to and what we're about to figure out, it's sort of this like, okay, why have I been trapping myself like that? Why have I allowed this to go on? Or some of you who have held back on a deep conversation, you finally have it and maybe it's not the greatest, but you come out the other side and you're like, that was so silly that I put that off for so long. You know, now I feel so much better and it's lighter and we're both better off or we're all better off whoever's involved in that conversation. So this is definitely take a light approach. This doesn't mean just, you know, laugh everything off necessarily, <laughs> but this is saying, you know, be willing to laugh at yourself too. There could actually be moments for some of you out there where a situation is just not what you thought it was. And you're gonna have a good laugh at how far off you were about it. And the other person is gonna have a good laugh as well. So there's some nice energy around that too, where it's like, wait, I thought you meant, but you meant, oh my gosh, you know, like seriously, I thought you meant, <laughs> it's that kind of thing. All right, so try to keep your heart light as well. Yeah, they keep saying humor is a coping mechanism. So some people might unplug and just watch funny movies. Um, be careful with that though, because that does become a distraction and you can get programmed that way, make no mistake. So watch what you're doing there. Okay, so the next card we have is spend more time outdoors. So it's detoxifying, it's not getting pulled into that toxicity, okay? And not in a self-righteous way. I know, see, we all do this like funny approach to everything. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna engage with you. You already did <laughs> just by making that comment, okay? <laughs> so it says, thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. This is us getting back to basics. It's us getting back to our truest nature. This is, uh, nature is associated with Archangel Ariel and Archangel Ariel, I associate with the root chakra, which is materialism, manifestation, that sort of thing. So we are definitely going through this phase where we're starting to redefine priorities. And I think this is the fall of materialism. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I know it sounds like why it could never happen, but <laughs> I do think this is the fall of materialism or people are at least starting to um, realize that love, connection, you know, mindfulness, spirituality, that's all more important. Now, what's gonna end up happening, it's already been happening. You're gonna start seeing a flood of people going into yoga and Reiki and you know all these spiritual practices, and that's wonderful. But don't forget, some are not coming to it organically. This is a message that's coming through. Let me see what the heck that means. Uh, <laughs> some are coming because it's trendy and they will fail. Some are coming because they are seeking but they're so not willing to change. They're so not willing to listen to their intuition about you know reprioritizing that uh, they end up getting scared and just going back to the old way of living. So there's gonna be some back and forth. It's not steady progress. It's like, you know, two steps forward, you know, one step back and then going on, going on, going on, okay? So uh, this might be a little frustrating for some. It depends on your situation, but it's gonna be all right. I mean, you know what you're doing. Right, sort of, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go along, I suppose. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, that popped right out in my hand. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. So there's that, but this is definitely feeling like we need to take a different approach to social change. Blaming isn't gonna do it. Empowerment and living in your light as an example is what's going to help us all shift and change, okay? So we do this collectively. Think about Think about it again, in spiritual groups, we all get into a meditation and we all just focus on our frequency and we're lifting our frequency up and expanding our consciousness. Surface level things do not hold the same weight in a moment like that, why? Because we're disconnecting from that thought grid, that 
holographic reality, <laughs> that narrative, whatever you want to see it as, we're unplugging from that and we are connecting soul to soul, heart to heart, soul to soul, okay? And when we do that, that's where we're all in our power. That's where we're in our wisdom and we have the clearest sight. So I think this is saying, you know, help me express my creativity and clearly uh, express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. So this is getting to know you on a deeper level. And yes, writing is a powerful activity. Words are very powerful. And some people try to use that just for like affirmations, not just affirmations. Affirmations can be great if you're really connecting into them. But let's not just get, the message here is not just to get caught up on um, what you think you know about spirituality and all the little tricks of the trade. <laughs> okay, there, there's something we're like we've never seen before coming. I feel it. it might might come a little bit later, but um, we're gonna see some inkling of it this week. Yes. Okay. So then we have you and your loved ones are safe. So if you guys are hearing this and you're like, this sounds scary. What ha what is going on? It says, dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones, and you can name their names. Uh, please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. It's going to be all right. This, listen, is it safe to say it might freak us out? I, don't, I do not know. I know some of you are out there are going, disclosure, it's going to happen. Um, do we need it? Oh, I do. I've been waiting my whole stinking life for it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but like... If you know, you know, right? You don't need someone else to verify that for you or tell you, okay? But definitely do not be afraid because what's gonna happen is like the structures, as I said before, the structures in place are going to be found, like again, here in the US, it could be unconstitutional. Uh, and it's been going on for a long time and suddenly people are like, oh yeah, maybe we shouldn't let this happen. Maybe it's not the coolest thing to do. Uh, and then because of that change, people get very uncomfortable because they're worried about their kids. Well, how is this going to affect my children? How is this going to affect how I buy groceries? How is this going to affect whether I can travel and see my loved ones? You know, all of that kind of stuff. And they're saying, you will not be left, as you would say, high and dry. <laughs> we will not, we will not take anything away. It's not the angels taking it away, but it's like they're trying to make us understand like the universe, like the universe, collective universe would not take, take anything away without giving us something to replace it with. I want to shuffle this for a second. Give me, give me just a moment here. Hmm. Okay. Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. We're creating a whole new reality. Not gonna happen overnight. <laughs> Might get to the end of the week and be like, Michelle, this is the most boring week ever. What were you even talking about? Hang tight, hang tight. We are opening up. This is sacral chakra kind of energy. Uh, some might even, I mean, it's kind of, it's more of an orangey color, but you know, if you see this light here, there's a little bit of yellow in it as well. We're finally finding our voices, finding our spark, and we're learning what we will no longer accept now. That's one step. The next step is to take accountability for how we have not served ourselves, how we have not served one another, how we have tried to hide behind blame and shaming others and judgment and all of these types of things. And now it's more about, again, coming back together. There's a beautiful message here of coming back together. Make peace. Make peace with those that you care about. Or conversely, if you are in a situation where, you know, something's been hanging over your head and you just know you need to let go of it, it's just time to let go, then do it. Do all the energy clearing if you need to. So uh, this could be if you have tried to, you know, make nice with someone for the longest time and they just, their pride is getting in the way. They're only thinking of themselves and you're just hurting and you're just draining your energy over that situation. Take care of you. Clear that away. I mean, this is the time. This is the time. You need to be present for you so that you can respond in the way that, in a way that it's not going to be coming from fear, where you're going to be in your wisdom and very stable. And then we can move forward and we move forward together. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.
拜拜。